it means that I'm actually going to be doing a makeup tutorial holiday edition. Um, this is just how I want to do my makeup. If you if you want to recreate this look, you can and send me photos on my Twitter, Instagram, and also I have a Tumblr now. Well, I've been had a Tumblr, but it's more active now. <laughs> okay, so you guys, this is my explanation for being so MIA for like three weeks, okay? I'm not sure if you noticed that the lighting is a lot brighter now and before I was using natural lighting. But um I'm hoping that you guys do I'm hoping that you guys do notice the difference because my mom got me these amazing lights. Thanks mom. <laughs> I'm so excited to be doing these new videos now because now it could be raining outside, it could be snowing, it could be it's very pitch black outside and I can still film because I have my lights. So that is my explanation because I've been waiting for my lights and um, I didn't want to record a video that was just low quality and all fuzzy and stuff. I want to record very good quality videos for you guys so that you guys can appreciate the videos because I appreciate you guys and... I'm just here giving to you guys and I want to give to you guys and I want to give you guys good quality videos and videos that you want to look at so that's why I've been so MIA and I promise 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 I'm not going to be MIA anymore I'm going to be doing my videos and I'm going to keep on track because now I have my lights and I can film at whatever weather is outside I don't have to go according to natural lighting anymore so I'm so happy for that so, um, I hope you guys can forgive me for being MIA for three weeks. I hope, I hope, I hope. Because it's not for any stupid reason. It's not like I was out doing other things. It's not like I didn't want to film for you guys. I absolutely missed you guys so, so incredibly much. I felt like a piece of me was, like, missing. And, yeah, I just... I'm so happy now, can you tell? <laughs> um, but, yeah, guys... So we should probably get started and excuse my bare face makeup. Yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So I'm going to be starting with this Fit Me Maybelline New York foundation in 110. I need to pick up a new foundation, so if you guys have any recommendations, please leave it down in the comments because I've been using this probably for the longest now. I've been using the same brand of foundation at least, not the same, you know. Um, <laughs> so yeah, if you have, oop, put a little bit too much, oop. No, this is the Real Techniques Stippling Brush. So guys... I miss you guys so much. Oh my god, I miss you guys. I miss, I absolutely miss doing videos for you guys. Like, seriously. I've never felt like, like this before. <laughs> I seriously miss you guys so much and interacting with you. Um. guys now that I have my lights and stuff I want you guys to start requesting more videos um because now I don't have a go uh, a little, 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 little. now I don't only have to go according to like the weather now I can do it whenever I feel like it you get my drift <laughs> I should have gotten them through freaking sponge And I know a lot of people are probably going to comment on this saying that I'm doing my makeup wrong. But this is just the order that I like to do my makeup in. Don't take it offensively. Please don't. Just the order I like to do my makeup. 
and any retouches that I need to do, I will do later on. And I know this is a stippling brush, but I just like to go in and buff everything out. Make sure there's no stippling streaks going on. No streaks at all. You don't want that. See? So now that I have my foundation on, I'm actually going to do my eyeshadow. Um, I hope you guys bear with me because I'm not that good at eyeshadow and I'm still learning, so, you know, please do work with me because I'm not that good at eyeshadow, I know. <laughs> this is the, the NYX, ooh, where is it? The NYX Eyeshadow Base White. It looks, it just looks like that. You take it with your little thing. Now I'm going to be taking my Eco Tools brush and this Clinique palette. It has, oh, wait, it has these two colors in it and I'm not sure of the colors. It doesn't really say in the back. No, but this is the color, color, sugar, I don't know. It's just these two colors, I guess. It doesn't even have a name. I'm going to be taking, I'm going to be taking this one over here for my eyelid and this one for, for the outer part. So I'm just going to take this one, put it all over my eyelid. See? It kind of matches my skin tone, which is really nice. Because I'm not going for a very dramatic look. I'm going to go for something more natural. I'm going to be taking the darker one right here. On my outer crease. So I want the darkest part to be over here. Right? Just darken it up a little bit more. There we go. I made a little itty bitty mistake, it's okay. And just go blending. See? Now I'm just gonna do my other eye. It doesn't look that good, but um, like I'm saying, I'm not a professional, you guys. I'm still learning. Um, so please keep your patience with me, please, because I really need it. Like I need all the patience that comes with this eyeshadow because I kind of think I suck at this eyeshadow thing, you know. I'm more of the Eyeliner girl, wings eyeliner, um, blush, mascara, all that jazz, you know. I've never really done a lot of eyeshadow because I don't, I don't like wear eyeshadow on a consistent basis at all, actually. <sighs> Only for maybe like special occasions. Only real time I really wore eyeshadow probably was my 316. I personally think I'm more of a hair person, but you know, of a hair and simple makeup because I don't wear a lot of makeup, to be honest with you.
drop my mirror all over my face. Make sure everything stays in place. To blend. Okay. Now I'm going to take my eyelash curler. And gently I'm going to curl my eyes. I'm not going to use any false lashes for this look because I don't have any and I don't wear any because my eyelashes are actually very long so I don't need any. Anybody that knows me knows I love this CoverGirl Clump Crusher. I love it. It makes my eyelashes so nice and fabulous. It's actually bringing out my eyes, kind of. Guys, okay, this is my final look. Um, I'm not too sure if the eyeshadow came out, how you guys would wear your eyeshadow, but I tried, and I'm gonna get better at it, I promise you guys. Just give me a couple of a couple more tries and I will get the hang of it like that. Um, also, I want you guys to give me feedback on the lights and how you like this video because this is the first video I've ever been doing with my my lights. With my lights and I'm so excited to have them. And um, also, now that I have my lights, please give me more video ideas in the comments and let me know what you think of this video about the quality the makeup and everything else um so yeah guys i'll speak to you in my next video bye